welcome back once again so in this video we will try to learn uh, how we can uh, populate a line item in a our object object page if you remember in my previous video uh, you have learned how to populate data at header, I mean, uh, header level, as you can see here, business trip is coming, total price and its status is coming. Okay, along with this, how we can populate the data, populate data in a main area, you can see general data is coming, prices is coming and date is coming. So this thing we have covered in the previous video and you can refer, um, you can refer this video I mean, in this video, I, I explained everything. Okay, so you can refer this video. Okay, so. <clears throat> so, in, the, <clears throat> in this video, we'll try to cover this. I mean, in uh, here you can see, move booking data is also coming in the form of a table i mean in the form of a list you can say here uh airline id booking number booking date customer id flight number is coming okay so as of now you can see okay uh, so as of now if you remember we have only travel entity in our current app okay but we don't have any booking entity or you can say booking data we don't have and booking uh, so to get the booking data we require a booking entity or booking table but as of now we don't have only we don't have booking so we have only uh, travel travel data okay so i'll so to achieve the same so what we need to do, just go back to our CDS. Okay, so I'll open our CDS. Okay, so if you remember, uh, as of now we have, uh, we have created only travel entity. Okay, this is our main CDS. Okay, this is where we are calling. Uh, <clears throat> this travel entity i mean this is a, this is this is the database table okay and this database table we are calling in this cds okay after that we are calling this uh this cds into our final projection cds okay so defined would be entity as in projection on YCDS driver. Okay, so same thing we have to do for our booking. I mean book uh, booking CDS. So as you can see here, as of now we have a travel table. Okay, so for travel table we have referred this table. Okay, Z F E A T R A V zero zero one zero one double zero one. You can use the same for your practice okay and for booking for booking entity we have to use this table zfea book 001001 okay and 1001 so the, these are the demo table you can use the same for your practice so i am using the same so let's first let's try to create a cds for the same for booking entity because as of now we have travel table and travel entity and travel cds are already there but we don't have a booking cds so we will try to create the same so just go back to our cds and quickly we will try to create the cds so first we'll uh, create a new cds for booking so i'll put y cds booking okay cds booking next 
next finish okay so just put the table name here booking okay and come down within the braces press control space then you will see these suggestions so i just need all the fields so that's why i'm selecting this insert all elements okay now in a single hit you can see all fields are coming okay and you can see one error is coming they are saying why cds booking flight price reference information is missing okay so to overcome this error we have to define the reference so i'll do the same okay okay so what we need to do we have a annotation called semantics okay dot amount and dot currency code okay so here we have to define the currency code and you can see uh, here we are referring this field along with this uh, annotation and you can see here we are passing currency code which is coming from here okay now you can see error has been removed so i am activating our cds so our uh, main booking cds has been activated so now quickly i'll create one more cds where i'll call this cds in a projection cds okay so quickly we'll try to create a projection cds why cds booking projection projection booking projection view Okay. So at this time, I'll choose this one, define root view entity. Why I'll choose this one? Because I just need to call this projection view as an uh, OData service or in a app so you can see here we clearly mention we can use this type of cds in a ABAP restful programming model it means we can do uh, we can call the cds in our fury app using ui annotations so you can see here root nodes no root nodes composition to parents association defined structure business which can be used in the above restful, above restful programming model okay if you will click on this then you can see it shows define a simple cds view with one data source okay so i as of now i'm creating with the with root view entity finish okay i'm removing uh, this composition as of now i don't require so as projection on Um, what is the data source we have created why cds booking okay insert all element and now you can see 
root keyword uh, they are saying root keyword not valid since ycds is not a root property okay this error is coming because it is saying ycds booking is not a root property okay so i'll go back to our main cds and you can see here i created a cds as a view entity and our in this error they are saying this ycds is not a root property so i have to change this with root view okay now i'll activate the same i mean main cds ycds booking okay this has been activated now i'll come back to our projection view try to activate <clears throat> okay now it is activated successfully so uh, so you can see here our uh, CDS booking, uh, CDS booking is ready. Okay, so just go to just go back our projection view and try to execute. So just press F8 to see the output. And you can see data is coming, booking ID travel, booking ID, booking date is coming as per the records available in our system. Okay, so now what's the next step? So now we have to make a relationship between a travel and booking entity. Okay, so how we can do so to achieve the same, what you need to do, uh, we have to make a relationship using association. So how we will do? So I'll show you. Mm -hmm. So to make a relationship um, between a travel table um so what we need to do we have to use uh this keyword redirect to parent and here uh what is our travel cds name uh, that is y cds travel projection okay so now what we are doing here, we are making a relationship between a booking projection uh, with, a, with our travel projection, CDS. Okay, so we are making a relationship between booking projection and travel projection. Okay, and here we are using redirected to parent. It means, and here, we have written a association underscore travel okay but now you can see one error is coming it's saying association travel is unknown okay so this association as of now not available so we'll try to create the same so just open the cds main booking cds press f3 on the same then you will navigate to our CDS and now what you need to do you have to write the association from there we'll make a travel association okay so how we'll write association in a previous video I told you so here we have to use a keyword association to
sorry association to Tra book travel okay what we need to association to here to uh, book parent Okay, parent Y C D S travel projection. <clears throat> okay, on on the <clears throat> as travel why I'm putting as uh, underscore travel because I just need this in our uh, main YCDS booking if you will open this this is our main projection and here we have to call it that's why we are uh, making a projection in our mean ycds booking okay <clears throat> so on draw the projection dot This is of booking UUID. Okay. Underscore travel dot travel UUID. Okay. Okay, now they are saying root entity cannot define a, to a parent association. Which root entity? Root entity, okay. So this error is coming, so we'll try to fix quickly. Okay, so, so here you can see uh, view has been, mm, you can see here error is coming. This is our uh, main CDS and here error is coming. Uh, travel is unknown. If I will go with our mm, main cds booking so here they are saying root entity cannot define to parent association so why this is coming because uh, this is our projection view where we are calling our main booking cds okay and this is our main cds booking okay so here we are doing a association Okay, on our C, uh, on our travel projection. So here we are making a relationship. Okay, so now what we need to do, this error is coming because these two CDS, these all two CDS is not activated. So to overcome this, what we need to do, we have to activate both CDS. So here you can see, we have two buttons. There's a single button. I mean, there's a single activate button here. We can activate only one object. And using this, we can, we can activate multiple object at a 
time okay so i'll use the same and you can see both cds is coming one is projection and another one is our main cds booking so i'll try to activate let's see what happened Mm. Proceed, activate. And here you can see error is coming. So they are saying association travel is not used. Okay. Association travel I have not used. So I'll use the same here. Uh, Okay, now I have used. Now try to activate again. Again, one error is coming. The association underscore travel is unknown. Why is it is? Uh, where projection in projection? Why is it is booking projection? They are saying travel association is unknown. Okay, travel association is unknown. Why the seller is coming? Oh, just wait. Okay. Travel association is so let's try to fix the same. Okay, so they are seeing uh, cannot define to parent association. So here we are trying to make a parent child relationship okay so here we have made a relationship booking uh, booking uh, entity with our tra travel entity as a parent so vice versa we have to make a child relationship between a travel entity uh, with a booking entity so to achieve the same, what you need to do? Now we have to open our travel projection. Okay. Now again, what same piece of code we have to write, but here we have to use, um, we have to change the keyword because parent relationship we have already made but now we have to make a child relationship okay so child relationship here uh, with the uh, so as of now we are in travel projection so that's why we are calling here our uh, booking cds okay Okay, now here one error is coming, association booking is unknown. So same thing we'll do. As of now, we are in a travel projection. Now we'll go uh, and we'll open main CTS of travel, select the, uh, select the CTS and press F3. Now we will navigate to our main CTS. Now what you will need to do, we have to make a association, I mean, association for booking. So here to do the same, we have to use this composition, uh, zero is to asterisk, okay, two. Of okay. 
composition of here we are in our series travel so composition so here we will call our projection series of booking so we have created projection series on this one okay s underscore booking now we'll use same here booking okay now our is coming child entity why CDS booking of oh, cannot be a root? Okay, why this is why this error is coming? So just go back over projection, uh, travel projection, and here. King is a known. So let's try to activate all CTS and let's see what happened. So as of now, we make a relationship. I mean, we make a relationship between travel and booking entity. And you can see as of now, we have four CTS. Or two is for travel and two is for booking. Let's try to activate all in a single hit. Again, one error is coming. Let's try to fix. So to overcome those error, what we need to do here, uh, first we'll try to fix the error for booking entity, okay? So here you are saying root entity cannot define to parent, okay? So this error is coming because here we have used projection travel entity. So while associating we uh, we cannot use a projection view here for travel entity so just remove this and use mean travel cds instead of a projection okay so i replace the same okay why cds travel Okay, then go to YCDS. Come uh, to this. Okay, now same. Now we'll go with our travel projection. And here you can see here we have redirected to composition child. So here we make a child relationship uh, using a booking association. So this booking association we have defined in our mean travel CDS. So here also we did a mistake while doing a composition, I mean make a relationship with the travel entity and with our oh sorry our travel entity with our booking cds here also we are using the projection so we cannot use projection while using a composition or association okay so i'm just using i mean calling main cds instead of projection booking cds 
Okay, now I think we have done. Now try to activate all four CDS in a single hit. Let's see. Select all CDS, travel and booking. Try to activate. Again, I recommend. Now, the association underscore book is unknown. Yeah. Which association? Travel is fine. Association. Booking. We have to use okay. We are in travel projection. Okay, booking. I have. Then here I use. I'm in in booking. We I have used travel. That is fine. Now again, try to activate. Again, I have this coming. What error is coming? Which island key cannot be root key? Stack code is missing. Underscore booking entity. Oh, blah, blah, blah. There are lots of errors coming. Okay, so let's try to fix. Mm. So here in booking, we have used root view. So I am replacing it, okay, with the normal view entity instead of root view entity, okay, in a projection view. Same I'll do in a main booking view. So here also I'm removing this. Okay, now you can see error is not coming. Okay. So parent relationship we cannot define in a root view entity. That's why that issue is coming. So let's try to activate booking CTS. So first I'll try to activate both booking CTS projection CTS and mean why booking cds okay let's see will it activate or not yeah now it's activated now try to activate remaining Yeah, I think yeah, oh, all four CDS has been activated successfully. Yeah, great. So that was the issue. It means whenever we are using an association to parent, so parent association we have to use in a view entity instead of a root view entity in root view entity we can use only uh, child we can use only composition 
we can use only composition okay and composition and redirection to composition to child so this thing we can use in a root view entity okay if you want to make a parent uh, redirect to parent so that thing we can use in a view entity not in a root view entity so that's why uh, we are getting issue so now we'll try to see let's try to execute our cds so first i'll try to execute our cds independently from edt directly so just uh, i'm on a projection cds so just press f8 now you can see output is coming so let's uh, select any travel id and do the right click and you can see one option is coming follow association click on the same and now you can see here we have a booking association is coming here so on the basis of a travel id we can see the booking record so on the basis of a travel id we are having these all booking okay it means our relationship between travel and booking is working perfectly so now our next step is we have to populate this in our uh, we have to populate this in our current app so as you can see this is our service we'll click on the same and here here you can see as of now only travel projection is coming okay so what you can do what you have to do just unpublish the same service it will take some time okay so our service has been unpublished now we'll try to make it publish again so just like this service definition and click on publish so this will take some time again so wait for a moment our service has been generated click and preview now you can see our screen loaded successfully now i'm selecting overall status accepted okay now i file navigate then you can see at header you can see uh, travel id is coming total price is coming and in the middle you can see general information is coming prices is coming but here booking data is not coming so to achieve the same we'll go our main cds and open the cds and go to metadata okay now in metadata go to annotate ui facet uh, there is a annotation called ui facet if you remember i explained in a previous video just go back to the previous video and see uh, 
now i'll continue the same here i just need to add a one more tab where we'll show booking data so to for the same i'll use this code code is already there so i'm just copying the same and we'll paste it over here okay close now here what i have used as i used for date here id i have used booking and purpose should be standard same as earlier and but here that is important here type should be line item underscore reference why because we are showing data in a form of a table that's why we have choose type here line item okay and label should be booking and position should be 20 and target element means data will come from where i mean from booking booking association and booking association if you remember in projection view we have called booking association as a child so that we the same we are calling here as a line item in our metadata okay activate the same Okay, let's activate it. Now go back our app. Refresh. And the data is to open. As of now, I have entered accepted only. Okay. Click on second record. Then you can see one more tab is coming. Booking. So this tab is coming from where? From this annotation. ID you can see booking and label I have used bookings okay so this is coming from here and but data is not coming here you are you can see unable to find annotation path so uh, so try to fix the same so why this is coming so just go back our CDS because we just need to we just need to display data in a form of a tabler in a form of a type table you can see or in a form of a, you can see in a tabular form you can see so as a line item we need to show and if you remember to show the line item so we have to make a i mean this is a different entity booking okay so for um, for this booking we have to prepare a separate uh, metadata okay as we have prepared for travel okay so what we'll do um, if you remember just go to booking projection okay because we have to prepare a metadata for projection booking and try to create the metadata for the same and just wait
Y series booking data. Okay. Data data for booking one item next finish. Okay, so layer I'll collect code. Okay, and now we have to use elements. Okay, so already I have a piece of code for line item, so I'll use the same. Now you can see uh, projection. They are saying a notation is missing. Okay, so just go back to our projection and put the notation. Mm. metadata log extension this is very important your notation without this you cannot prepare a metadata for a projection cds or any cds okay so this is important so let's activate the cds now after this i'll try to activate our metadata and you can see if you click on check, this is the check button and now you can see error has been removed. Now try to activate our metadata as well. Yep, now it is activated. Okay, now go back over service. And now activate our service again. Okay. So uh, just refresh our service. So what do you need to do? Uh, because here we have uh, we have added. Uh, I mean. Uh, uh, one more metadata. So for the same metadata, we have to prepare one more service. So what you need to do, create a separate service for the same. Yeah, so for, I mean, for booking, we require service. Okay, as of now you can see here YCDS travel. One service is coming only for travel. So just go to service definition. And here you can see we are exposing only <clears throat> travel projection. Now we want service for <clears throat> booking as well booking projection as well so we'll call this one as well and activate now just go back to service finding Okay, refresh our service. I mean, just unpublish and publish it again. Uh, 
Try to publish again. Select the service definition and publish. As I did earlier, if you remember, so it will take some time. Some processing is happening in the background. You can see, you can see here some progress is happening, and you can see some green. You can see green color here. But at bottom, you can see. Yeah, now our service has been published. Now you can see here we have two services now. Earlier, if you remember, we have only travel entity. But now you can see along with travel, we have new entity is here. That is booking entity as of now, you can see. So it means uh, we have both entity and we have we made a relationship between travel and booking um, successfully, you can see here. So now just select our travel entity and press preview. Let's try to see the effect in our current app. Oh, app is loading. Loaded successfully. Now I'm selecting the status, overall status. Let's see. I've selected, accepted, and uh, let's see. I will click on third record, sightseeing in Singapore, click on the same. Yeah, and now you can see, great. Now you can see all things. I mean, booking data is also coming. Okay, and you can see booking data is coming in the form of a table. Why it is coming in the form of a table? Uh, because if you remember, uh, uh, just go back to our CDS. Uh, okay, that was our CDS. Okay, that was the metadata for travel. And if you remember here, we have used booking and here we have used a type line item reference because we are we have to show the data in any form of a line item and if you remember to display the data in a form of a line item we have to use a ui annotation for line item okay so that's why we have prepared a separate metadata for uh, i mean for booking so in booking you can see we are using same annotation ui dot line item and here we have to use i mean booking id booking date and set the position 20 customer id we are showing so using the and carrier id connection id and flight date the same thing you can see here so this is coming with this metadata and with the help of a annotation in with which we have written in a travel i mean uh, travel metadata okay so using this a, a ui facet annotation using this this thing is coming i mean this tab is coming okay and this this thing is coming okay hope you will understand this okay so one more thing is pending if i'll open this app then you can see uh, this is our existing app you can see some image is also coming okay but in our app we are not showing any image okay so how we can achieve the same same thing we need to do if you remember in a previous video. So I'll do the same again. Okay, 
so first we have to fetch the data from the image table okay so i'll do the same okay so just to open our booking uh, cds so here we have to make an association on a table car id so this is an existing existing table from where we are fetching a, uh, I mean we are fetching a image from this table and we are calling this uh, association in our booking CDS okay file navigate if you want to see what is the uh, I mean Oh, what are the things, what are the fields available in this table? Just select this and press F3, then you will navigate. Okay, so this is our car ID, carrier table, which is already exist. And you can see here, we have a field called a airline name. If you will execute using F8, then you can see yeah, on the basis of airline ID, we have a uh, we have URL. Okay, these are the dummy URL which uh, I mean dummy URL which are already exist. You can use the same. So I'm using the same table which is already exist, and you can refer the same for your practice. Okay, so I'm using the same. And I call this table with the help of association. Uh, and in carrier, I'm getting this. So what I'll do, now I'll go back over, uh, just activate this. Now, now I'll go back over main projection booking cds okay now i'll call i'll call association carriers here okay and field name this as you can write image Images is out. Image URL. Activate. Okay. And now, last thing you need to do, just go back our booking metadata because in booking, we have to show this, okay? So that's why I open booking metadata. So same annotation you need to use, UI.line item. Okay. Um, Position. Position should be five. Okay. And field should be um, image URL. dot line item must be an array okay let's read it 
activate. Now try to execute our existing app. Refresh. Yeah, now you can see your logo is coming. Okay, so to achieve this, what you what are the things you need to remember? First thing, you have to prepare a table where you will store the logo. Okay, so in booking, CDS. I make a decision and in, and in this table we are saving the logo. I mean in say in the CDS we are calling this table that a figure. Okay. And here don't forget to I mean don't forget this annotation to mention. Okay. Semantics dot image dot url true. If you will not mention this then our image will not display. Only hyperlink will be display, if you remember. So these are the things you need to remember. You need to remember. Make sure, don't forget to mention this annotation. This is very important. Okay. So hope uh, you will like this video. Okay. So so in the next video we'll try to see i mean how we can do uh, some actions like let's say this is our demo app let's say i just need to create some record and you can see here some button is coming okay and you can see some check boxes is coming so how we can do the same Okay, and in our object page, you can see some buttons are visible. At had a label, you can see add it and delete if I open this. Okay, then you can see fields are editable and I, I can change, I can modify all the data accordingly. Let's say I just need to change the data, I mean price, let's say, seven uh, six six seven and try to save and then you can see price has been updated so these things i mean these things we can uh, these things we will try to cover in the in the next video okay so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe us otherwise you may miss our video Okay, bye-bye, take care. Thank you.